Hello, my University of Tampa friends. Professor Wyatt here with a quick little note for you to watch and absorb here on Monday morning as we head into our big week where we have a PowerPoint and a video all due on Thursday, April 30th. Uh, well, we're going to change that because I just think it's easier to say Friday. So Friday at midnight, it's due. So if you're going out on Friday night and you haven't done it yet, you better pull a U-turn, go back home and get it done. All right? So that's item number one, and I will make that adjustment in Blackboard. But we'll just move it to Friday of this week. Now that is your PowerPoints and your videos. Okay? Before, I kind of wanted the PowerPoints uh, in advance. Now I think that you're all grown up enough to uh, give me those as you please. However, I can tell you that if you decide to roll those dice and just send me your PowerPoint along with your video, you will accept the full brunt of your mistakes on the PowerPoint because the body shop is open. I got about 20 bays here and none of them are being used. I'm losing money. Okay, so send me your PowerPoints as soon as possible. Now, along with this video, I'm going to send you, God bless you, Sandra. I'm going to send you Sandra's progression as she went through this with me uh, earlier last week. I'm going to send you her number one, then her number two, and her number three, the final. So you can see the comments I'm making about why this was wrong, why this needs to be changed, how this can be made better. Because uh, I'm not going to have a lot of time after this Saturday to get through all the grading and still make it work. So I'd rather see your PowerPoints this week. So let me just say, if you're going to roll those dice, have at it. But what I don't want to see are headlines tucked away at the bottom of a page. Headlines go top left. I want to see good capitalization. Remember, we don't use full sentences. We try to use headlines. I want to read your PowerPoint slide, read it, in about three seconds. Boom. Okay. Because remember, the PowerPoint supports you. When you load your PowerPoints with text, I have a choice to make at that point. I'm either going to listen to you or I'm going to read the PowerPoint, but I'm not doing both. Okay? So the PowerPoint, boom. I look at it, boom. I'm focusing on you. This is how it should be all the time, not just for me. All right? I don't want to see all this heavy text. Headline. And go from there, all right? Look out for the hangers. When you have that one word that drops down, pull your text box out if you can to make it all fit on one line, okay? I don't want somebody goes, here's what I did today. Pull it out, all right? Good visuals. Remember, PowerPoint is a visual tool. So choose your pictures wisely. Don't clutter it up. Remember, I like to go, boom, three seconds, I saw it. Now I'm looking at you, okay? So make sure it's clean if you want to send it to me because I will be heartless if I see uh, a PowerPoint sent to me at this point in time that has all those classic mistakes that we were making back in January and February. Uh, we know how to do it, and I've sent you videos before on how to make a good one. So make sure it's good. Send it to me for your revisions anytime this week. Remember, we're extending this now till Friday at midnight. You can thank me later. And uh, as for what's going on uh, in May, you know, I could give you a test, but that's just not my style. I don't like written tests. I'd rather see you speak than have you tell me what a good speaker is. So I will do something for our final assignment. It will be fast. It will be fun. It won't require a lot of busy work. Okay? Only up here. And uh, look for that sometime later this week. I don't want to clog up your mind. And one more thing about the lotto. I've been watching this Mega Millions, okay? And right now it's at about 
280 to 300 million. Not bad, you know, but we're splitting it you know, 40 ways. So uh, the next drawing is tomorrow night. We're going to hope for a rollover, and then we'll be in the Friday night drawing. So if we get a rollover, it'll probably be in the 350 to $400 million range, which, you know, is about where we should be. And uh, I will keep you updated on that as well. So get to work. You know how this process works. Send me what you got. We'll make it stronger every step along the way. And I hope you're all being safe and happy and staying sane. I know I am. Take care now.